Hey guys, what's up? This is the boy. How y'all doing? I am here in front of my uh, my property. I am putting down some shrubs. I went earlier today. I ran down to uh, Home Depot, and I was looking. I was uh, eyeballing these uh, fruit trees that was supposed to be mocked down uh, this week, sometimes. But I had a detail this morning at the church. I don't want to blame it on that now. But uh, when I got down to Home Depot, all the fruit trees were gone. And they were all marked down 50% off. So I, I missed out on on that. And I was, kind of, I was a little bummed out. So I had to come home with something. So I, I knew I had this spot here in front of the house there that was, uh, that I, took down this tree, a very, very expensive Japanese tree that uh, my wife hated. She didn't want it there, and I took me a whole year battling back and forth about it, but uh, she overcame. <laughs> so I cut the tree down. I mean, this tree was like $4,000 or so, five grand tree, you know what I mean? Japanese. So let me, let me show you the... Uh, so you can see it back here. This is the stump right here. I had a couple, couple people that were interested in it, but we just, you know, it is rooted in there, real thing. So I didn't want to mess around with it, taking it out, and take a chance of messing my foundation up, and whatnot. So I just cut the tree down. And, I mean, I do like it now. I mean, the openness now, the house looks really, really uh, more defined now since I uh, took that, uh, took the tree down. However, that's what it is. So, this video here is dedicated to SC Happily. I always see this young lady, she's out there all the time in front of her property, and she be working it. She be working her property, laying down all these plants and painting and, and uh, uh, doing little boardwalks. She just does it all. She is, she has the perfect name, happily. She is always so, so happy. And um, I thought I'd dedicate and give her a good shout out to SC Happily. Very happy. Her and her, her and her little boy will be out there doing their thing. Little boy be riding around in his scooter, going shopping with her, always buying plants and stuff like that. So I wanted to give her this shout out. So this video dedicated to you, SC Happily. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get these uh, plants. I ended up buying four, four shrubs. And I'm gonna plant, uh, let's see. I ended up, yeah, I ended up getting four and I'm going to uh, just lay them out here. And this one right here that I have in my hand is gonna go out back. And I have a special spot for it in the, in the food forest. You know, cause it's not just uh, fruits and vegetables back there. You also have to put, uh, you know, other plants back there to give it beauty and also to draw in pollinators. And whatnot. Excuse the noise uh, they're putting inside and across the street. So, yeah, so you also gotta get your pollinators in. It's very, very cold. Last night here in Georgia, the temperature just dropped down to the low 20s. So, I spent the whole day uh, cleaning up back there, putting things away and whatnot, uh, securing that the chickens were nice and uh, tight and warm. So, uh, I have confined the chickens now to to their run back this so I don't let them run around too much so that way they can make sure they go in and stay warm but anyway we go ahead and uh, get this all done here and when I'm finished I'll come back and I'll show you how it turned out all right
I was trying to get this tree right here closer to over here to the center. I couldn't, man. The root in there is just like yay thick, and uh, it ain't going nowhere. And I'm not gonna mess with that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the chainsaw to it and uh, just plant around it, put pots and stuff like that. So that's what's up, baby. <laughs> So I mean, this is this is a perfect time to, to you know everything's going dormant and stuff like that. Yeah, it's a perfect time now to get your plants in. So I'm taking advantage of getting this project done now that is cooled off. I got plenty of wood chips here. Get this dirt down. Get it nice compacted down. I'm not even gonna water it because the soil is kind of wet. And the plant was nice and wet and plus it has all these wood I have about five inches of wood chips that, that are over it so all right guys what's up it's the following morning I came out this morning to finish off I finished the front what I was working on and I had uh, a couple plants that I needed to put out back and when I came out this morning remember my little wagon all the soil that I had in there was frozen like a brick <laughs> so I'll be finishing that later on when it warms up a little bit if it ever warms up so that can complete what I'm doing back there so anyway um, in this project here, out in front of my hydrangeas, um, I came and I, like, what I bought yesterday, right? So, let's see. So, I bought an early Wanda chameleon, right? So, that's that right there. And I'm going to put that on the edge of these, on the side of the, in the corner right here, of this um, side of my stair, stairs coming up to the house there to soften up that area there and I show you how, how, what I planted you know it's a small plant but uh, it'll grow over the next couple of years it'll, it'll grow up to let's see it's gonna grow up to uh, six to eight feet up there so it's gonna look really nice with all these nice uh, colorful flowers on them right these rose type flowers and uh, and it has a also a uh, six to eight foot wide span so we'll keep it we'll keep that plan under control and dead dead center over there I planted the, uh, the arrowwood verburnum plant right and this it puts out these uh, white flowers puffy flowers and come autumn time it will um, put out these these uh, these berries there so the birds can enjoy and this plant here grows to let's see if I can get this open here yeah, okay all right this plant here grows about five feet in about four to five feet wide span and the last one that I put in over here was the Azalea, Autumn, Moonlight. So I planted those there yesterday. There to, you know, since I knocked down that tree, I can give some some beauty to the to the front foundation out here. And let me um let me show you how how it what I did here. So so coming in the corner, the corner here. 
This is the chameleon right here, right? And it's about two feet right now, but it'll that'll grow quickly over the next year or so. And then over here, dead center, I put the arrowwood viburnum here, right dead center. I wanted to, I wanted to actually move it out more to the front here, but the tree stump is right there, and um, the roots underneath it. I just I, I can't find a location to move it forward, so that's where it's gonna lie. So that's it. You know what I mean? Everything is kind of uh, shrunk up right now because it's so cold out. And so come, you know, I laid down a big blanket of uh, wood chips there, keep the roots warm. So come, come spring, everything's going to get bigger and just look a lot better. And then I, you know, I'm going to be doing some work to the house there. I'm going to be putting up some new windows, have some new windows put in. Uh, some, uh, you know, when the money's right, <laughs> money's not right right now. So, uh, put up new windows, new storm door, and just, you know, give it a little beauty out here. It's my fence over there. You guys saw me built. My poor flowers on the, uh, my Christmas flowers up on the stairwell. See, that's how, that's how cold it was last night, right? That everything just froze up and poor little flowers. I don't know if they're going to rebound. All right, guys. So I'm going to end it here. I'm here with my, with my baby. This is the only girl I got, Nadia. <laughs> and uh, Dr. Ricky's back there keeping the fire going, chilling out on a cool, brisk day. It's very warm over here now in the back of this, uh, sitting here around this fire. So we're going to go ahead and leave it here. You all enjoy your day. See? It's my baby right here. Huh? Ain't she so cute? Ain't she so cute? She looks like a teddy bear. All right. All right, much love and peace from the Bulls' dad.